<laughs> that puts me in a good mood. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Uh, kind of a special edition here, Gene. Yeah. We're going to do a few unique things here today. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about a few unique things. First of all, we're going to take uh, White Dog from both uh, Eagle, not Eagle Trace, White Dog matched one by Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Uh, we're going to take two of their 375s. We're going to take two, most of the two, of uh, Iron Roots mm -hmm. Carpenters. Uh, Bluff Moonshine. Carpenter's Bluff Moonshine Gene is only a 45 ABV. It's only okay. a 90 proof. All right. This is a 62.5 proof, which you legally have to be uh, to go into barrel if we were distillers. But we're not. Yeah. We're doing a home blend. We're a DIY. DIY. We're, 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 mix, we're mixing Iron Root with Buffalo Trace in our two liter barrel. But wait, there's more. What? what? Uh, let me show you some pictures real quick. Uh, these folks, these photos you're looking at right now are from Texas. We are making our own whiskey at Buffalo, uh, uh, Blackland. Black Black man, Land. you're all sorts of all over Ooh, the place. Oh man, I'm deep all over Deep breath. Deep, yeah, good call. Deep, deep breath. breath. Deep mm. breath. So, yes, Blackland We're making is our, yeah. where we are doing our five gallon. Yeah. Uh, and we're doing a five gallon in a brand new oak and a brand new, not oak. <laughs> Not we're, brand new. We're, true <laughs> words, folks. We are doing, we're doing uh, 250 pounds of single malt. We'll make us 10 gallons of moonshine whiskey of that white dog. Mm -hmm. Five gallons, Gene, are going to go into a virgin American white oak barrel. Yes. And five gallons are going to go to an ex bourbon barrel, a first filled barrel. And right. the reason why we're doing that is kind of an experiment. We're also using a new yeast tray that get, kind of gives off peppery notes. And we want to see if that Texas heat is going to put too much oak on the palate and on the nose in the virgin oak, which I have a, I have a theory. My hypothesis is that the first fill, the ex bourbon barrel, will be a better blend. But we're going to see. So subscribe, hit the notification notification bell, hit that thumbs up, and go on the journey with this twofold one to age our two whiskeys and to see how this bar turns out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry for the eyesore, we're still under construction, we're still working on it, but it's getting along, it's coming along. But you're not, you're not tuning in just to see us, I'm gonna let Gene open that, you're not tuning in just to see us uh, fill this two liter barrel, barrel and start this brand new experiment. We're also going to sample this white dog. We've done a previous video where we've sampled this white dog, mm -hmm. uh, I'll leave a link up here to that video, but today we're going to sample the Carpenter's Bluff Iron Root Moonshine. Mm and see what this is all about. And I forget their mash bill. If I remember to get the mash bill, I will put the mash bill down in the video's description below. But I'm excited. We're doing two different uh, whiskeys. This blend at home, and then we're doing a legitimate um, whiskey at a distillery. Yes. And we already have the name picked out. Yeah, we, we will, do. We will, I'm not going to say no, Say the name for the, for the unveiling of the bottle. Um, first thing that comes to mind is I'm not seven years old. I'm seven. No, I'm 17. I'm 16 years old. I'm uh, talking my buddy's brother and uh, going to the liquor store because we're going out uh, camping this weekend with a bunch of teenagers. And he goes back not with a 12 pack of Budweiser, but with cactus juice. Cactus? What's cactus juice? You remember? You ever drink cactus juice? Uh, who make the? It's by the people who make Mad Dog 2020, and it tasted like this. Smells like it. Mountain Dewy, pineapple -y, liqueur. Yeah, there's some. Well, I mean, it's it's Ooh. moonshine, so. This is straight up. Now it's morphed. Now that's been opened with oxygen. Now this is 100% a Tootsie Roll factory. I'm having a hard time with this guy. Yeah, those are weird. Yeah. There. Tootsie Roll factory. Oh, we need this one open too, right? Yeah. Oh, we need them all. See, we'll $750, And then two um, So. There is a, uh, I want to say a juniper type of kind of a note. Okay. I mean, I know it's not because this isn't gin, but. Um, These are Brock's Royals, which are Tootsie Roll looking items of candy. We And you said you don't know the mash bill or what kind of corn this was, is it even? It, it, it smells like a, a, it might be a blue corn. I know that they do a ton of blue corn, I'm but no, I don't know the mash bill. The butcher corn. See, I'm getting a, like a chocolate Brock's Royals Tootsie Roll Factory. 
Let's get the pouring. Cactus juice type of type of note here. Let's well, I'll start pouring. pouring. Why don't you start giving some notes? Why don't you taste it? Why don't you have a go okay. in? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hope I have this turned off. I think I have it turned on. And I do. Glad I caught that. Ooh, that could have been. And that could have been something. I'm sorry, what kind of notes you get in there, Jean? Oh. Um, so I'm getting a lot of floral, like uh, maybe lavender and berries. It's, it's, it's kind of sweet. Do half of that, do the Buffalo Trace. It's kind of sweet. I figured it'd be really sweet. It is very sweet. <laughs> I don't care for moonshine, folks. No, you don't like, and you don't like Buffalo Trace White Dog either. Sounds right. Well, I think I like moonshine a lot more than you like moonshine. If well, serves. then how about I pour and you talk about it? Okay, let's do that. Let's have a bit of a trade here, Jean. I'm gonna let you open it though with your big old muscles. Yep, I got, I got muscles. I got muscles, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna do like a SpongeBob four hours later. <laughs> Great cork pop, though. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get here on the pot. Oh yeah, um, everything on the nose, a uh, bit of dusty drywall. Um, uh, did you say lavender? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some definite lavender here. I get to 45. Um, it's not chewy, it doesn't have a thick mouth feel. It's not, it, it's got like a, a lemon lime sprite note. I'll give you that, yeah. A hint of dentist office plastic. Well, I mean by that, do you ever go to the dentist office when you're a kid and they open up that, that, that toy area and it's had that unique dentist office and plastic note? Um, yeah, this is not my favorite white dog. I think I like Buffalo Trace and Bash one better. And this is what you get so many different things out of. But we thought it'd be neat as an experiment to introduce Buffalo Trace and Texas, and this is the 2021 Carpenter's Bluff version. And we took a tour of uh, Iron Root with Robert and Lee Thank you, Robert, for having us. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll leave a link here to our interview with Robert. We spent five hours in their distillery room, brought back some amazing whiskey from there. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of things going on uh, here on Malty Casking. Sounds full. All right, a cup runneth over. Put the bun plug in there. And this barrel right here is- Wow, that took the, almost the whole thing. I'm surprised. Yeah, that. took almost uh, three 750s for this two liter. Mm -hmm. And the barrel we're sitting on here is an MGP barrel. We got two, MGP, two MGP barrels. Mm -hmm. And we're building them into the island of our new bar that yep. we're, this will eventually be a awesome sports bar. Eventually. Whiskey bar. We're working uh, on it. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so tune in and watch us go through the progressions. We do a lot of aging our own whiskey at home type of things. Mm -hmm. uh, Jean, do you have anything to add to the folks? I have nothing else to add. I'm Charlie. And I am Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs> <laughs>